Well, oh fuck. I. Well, hello everyone listening. I see there's uh, at least ten of you, so I'll start the show. Uh, my name's Sebastian, and welcome to Misanthropic Propaganda Radio. So, uh, I know that a lot of you are going to be from Reddit, but if you're not, uh, you're welcome anyways. <laughs> so, um, okay, well, to introduce the show, let me give you guys a little bit of a background. Uh, so, I started off doing radio back in what I think it was my first year of high school I had a metal show going and I had a lot of other projects in between but uh, this is my first full-time show and man I'll be playing a lot of good fucking music that's for sure uh, I'm gonna try not to play a lot of bands that people have heard of I'm going to play a lot of underground shit um, a lot of bands that I discover throughout throughout time and CDs that I end up collecting and shit like that. Uh, yeah, so not a lot of the uh, mainstream bands, um, mainly because uh, I know a lot of people are trying to discover uh, new music and the other main reason being I don't want to get my fucking videos taken down <laughs> off of YouTube. Fuck, I hate record labels, but, um, yeah, so, um, I may or may not have guests on the show every now and then, um, I'll try to get some bands on the show, um, probably get a couple of my friends on here, just, just, why not, uh, I'm going to set up a way to either l have, like, a live chat going on the site, uh, for listeners, or I'm going to try to set up a way to have people call into the show while it's uh, while it's on air. Uh, that's probably going to be through Skype. Or if you're local, I might I might have my phone up here too. But uh, you should see how I have my uh, my fucking ghetto rig going here. Uh, my buddy actually gave me a, a mixer board from 1988 with a lot of broken shit on it but it's running just fine that's what I'm running the show through I have uh, two computers hooked up to it cassette deck CD player so uh, and, and, a, and a mic so we're good for that um, man there's definitely a lot of shit I want to talk about so the way the show is gonna usually go I want to play some songs or or you know, a good chunk of music, and then I'm going to talk, I'm going to talk about shit that's going on, talk about shit that is relevant to black metal, um, and even just basic bullshit that is not always related to the genre. I mean, the world's just so full of crap lately, so there'll be no shortage of things for us to complain about. But... Let's get started on the music. I recently discovered um, I recently discovered a band called Norns. Now, before I say anything, let me make sure what year this was recorded. Okay, so apparently 2016. So I caught on to this one a little late, but uh, Norns. The EP is called Pazuzu. Uh, it's from 2016, uh, Finland. Fucking amazing. Uh, I'm gonna take the CD off my rack here. Fuck. And I'm going to play the second track off it. And uh, of course, any band that I play, I'm going to link either the, like some merchandise or uh, Bandcamp or somewhere to buy the, buy the CD. So no, no matter what I play on here, I'm going to uh, have a way for, for everyone to kind of go find it if, if, if they like it. So give me a second here. I'm going to take my fucking pre-show Gorgoroth CD out of my CD player. Uh, and I'm also really open to feedback, so 
if something's annoying or if something's really loud, uh, I have a pretty good mic, but it's a little too good, so you can probably hear me opening my, my CD cases and shit, so if anything's like too loud or too quiet or annoying or whatever, uh, yeah, just let me know, send me an email, leave comments on my videos, whatever. Um, okay. So... Okay, so yeah, this is the title track. It's called Pazuzu. It's track two out of four. Um, it's fucking awesome. And all right, here we go.
So that's the kind of shit that I like, and that's the kind of stuff you're going to hear a lot on this show. A lot of that old school kind of rhythmic uh, black metal. Uh, well, in terms of the show, um, I want to include a lot of, uh, just a lot of interesting shit, you know? So, um, I'm planning to to have a variety of, of stuff, so, you know, so each show isn't kind of uh, expected, I guess. So, there might be days where I'll actually do, do a live jam, I'll play some, I'll play some stuff myself. Um, there'll be days where I, I just play video games while I talk. Um, uh, I'll try to do some some informative material, uh, mostly mostly around audio equipment and, and recording and and stuff like that. Like I recently got myself a four track. I have no idea how to use the fucking thing, but when I master it this week, uh, I might do a little teaching for the next show, something like that. So. Um, uh, first of all, I want to say thank you, uh, for all the, uh, support from, <laughs> from, uh, my Reddit post. I got a lot of support there from, uh, from the community, so thank you guys for that. And uh, I do hope you're enjoying the show. Uh, again, uh, for those that don't know, if you miss the show, if you don't have time, if you're in the wrong fucking time zone, I do post every show to the YouTube channel. Uh, it's under the archives tab on the website, but every show, every week, usually the morning after, or even even the night of, if I'm if I'm not too fucking tired, uh, I'll post the show, um, and then you guys can listen to it there whenever you want. You can go back, listen to old shows, do whatever you want, download them, put them on a CD, show them to your friends, do whatever you want. And on that note. I want to I want to talk about I mentioned record labels earlier and just just to just to fucking complain about something something that really pisses me off are are labels or or even bands that are like really really greedy with their music and I want to say greedy I mean I know it's going to open the whole well, the whole door for the debate of uh intellectual property and uh, especially when it comes to uh to musicianship and, and stuff like that but honestly man it's in terms of black metal it's black metal um let's not make this too bureaucratic let's not overcomplicate things it's music made for the sake of itself it's music made for the sake of the genre i don't think that a lot of uh, you know, paperwork or, or, or legal legal work should be put into into this genre of music. That's just my opinion. Uh, I think there's a lot of bullshit bands that take themselves like way too seriously, and you know, they don't want anyone listening to their shit on YouTube. So they want to take it down if if someone posts a full album or whatever. Uh, honestly, fuck off. This is this is the kind of community where someone will pirate your your album. And if they really like it, they'll go buy it. That's exactly what I do. Um, I, I download a bunch of shit. And what I like, I'll go out and, and buy the album. Because it's one, of these, it's one of these genres that just has that kind of community. So if you're one of these bands that takes, your, takes yourselves way too seriously, um, yeah, I mean, priorities, man. Priorities. It's about the fucking music. And up on the list of stuff that I've recently discovered, I'm going to cue in a track. Now, this band is called Rust. Um, they are, again, let me see. I think they're from U.S. I think they're from the U.S. Let me see. They are for okay. No, I'm, I'm an idiot. It's uh, this other band I was going to show you. That's going to come up later. That's from the states. This band's from Sweden. Uh, they're called Rust. Um, they've been releasing 
some full lengths and some EPs for a while. I think it's been 10 years that they've been around. Uh, earliest release I see right now is 2007, so yeah, it's been been a decade and a little bit. Uh, so this is off the new EP. It's called To the Continuous Cold. This track is called Wielding Death. And these guys are really fucking awesome. I'm going to link their band camp later. They have a really limited stock of their... Uh, of their merchandise. I just bought uh, one of their patches, uh, old shirts, old cassettes, everything sold out. And then there, there's literally, uh, I think I bought the last patch. No, there's one fucking patch remaining. <laughs> and there are five out of 55 t-shirts remaining. So before I give out this link, I'm going to buy a t-shirt because I'll be pissed if I don't get one. Um, all right, so... Yeah, they're fucking sick. I'm gonna play this song.
Okay, so. Need some water. Ah, fuck, I gotta take my headphones off every time I switch back to my mic. So I'm getting the feedback from the stream. Uh, anyways, that was Rust. Uh, they got a lot of a lot of good songs that sound just like that. A lot of cool, kind of groovy shit. Uh, this next band that I'm going to show you is called Callus. Now they are originally from Vermont, and from what I understand, there's a bit of a a bit of a moving process going on. But uh, yeah, I uh, I will link their I think I found their CD on their Facebook page. I don't think it's being sold on their Bandcamp or anywhere else. So uh, I contacted the uh, the vocalist, and yeah, he sent me a CD. So Mr. Grave Lurker, thank you, thank you for the CD. I love the <laughs> the the home production quality. Um, I love the big. CD with the uh, with the band logo sticker stuck on it. Um, yeah, again, a very uh, very rhythmic kind of sound to these guys as well. Uh, they said they have a lot of uh, Swedish influence, and I see that. Um, yeah, I don't think they produced very many CD copies. Uh, this is an EP, by the way. Uh, or a demo, I think it's just called Callus Demo, and I, th I think they only made 20 copies, 50 maybe, probably 20, I, th I think 20. So yeah, uh, if you like this, go get one, because there's not a lot of them. Uh, this song is called Blister Winds, it's my favorite off the EP, it's track 2 out of 3.
fuck. <laughs> Shit. I just realized that I think they sent me the instrumentals because that track had vocals on it and it doesn't have them on the CD. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. Um, okay. Because I've been listening to this almost every single day, um, I'm going to play the song again, but I'm going to... I'm going to play the, the actual... <laughs> the actual song. Uh, I'm really not sure what's going on with that. Um, weird. Uh, this track is actually seven minutes long on the CD, but only six minutes long on the uh, on, on their Bandcamp. So uh, I'll figure out what's going on later. But for now, I'll play you this.
So that was Blister Winds. And I see that there's some people that are connecting to the stream right now and they're disconnecting immediately. Like three, four times. Um, I'm pretty sure that is because they're trying to listen to the stream on the phone or on, on, on a phone. And I'm, I'm pretty sure you can't. I don't think that Shoutcast lets you... Um, I don't think it lets you listen through, let's say, like, a, like an iPhone or something. Um, so yeah, uh, unfortunately I think the stream is uh, computer only. But, um, yeah, I'll see what I can do about that. And by the way, if anyone has any questions about, like, running your own show or a, or a radio stream or, or just anything, anything of that sort, uh, go ahead and send me some emails. I'll, I'll answer any questions you got. I'll tell you kind of how I, how I, how I would set up, uh, stuff and, and what software you, you know would be best to use and, and all that shit uh, and for people actually experiencing uh, like any delay or, or, or the website or the stream being slow or, or hard to load or anything like that uh, do keep in mind that because this is uh, starting off this project is a, a day old as of today and I'm basically running everything on my own, like the, the website and the, the s stream server. Uh, it's all being hosted by me out of, a, out of a fucking warehouse. So if traffic increases and the need arises, I'll, I'll update to some, to some better hosting. But for now, just to, just to try it out, that, that's, what, uh, that's what it's at. Uh, and I okay. I hope you guys don't mind. This is bothering me. This uh, <laughs> this fucking CD. And I wanted to figure out what the fuck is going on with these songs. So I'm gonna play the the track without the vocals again, off this uh, off the Callus demo, and then I'm gonna compare it to Bandcamp. This is supposed to be Blister Winds. Let's just make sure that's the right song. And then this is the third track. Okay, so... Okay, I guess track two on this CD was actually supposed to be track three. And the reason it took me five minutes to notice is because I got up to have a snack while I left the stream running. So, track three should be track two. This is definitely Triumph and Blast. That's track three on the CD. So, also no more. So again, track... There's a track four. And a track five.
track six. That's uh, two minutes of ambience. Okay. Now I'm super confused. There are six tracks. Um, there's definitely an extra track I haven't heard yet. So it's not like each of the three tracks has the rough mix and then the, uh, the actual song on the demo. Okay, so I'm going to have to ask them about that. But at least I know now. <laughs> okay, moving on. Um, so a Reddit user, um, they uh, they brought up the uh, the current situation with uh, Tolke and uh, how they uh, canceled their North American tour or the North American part of their tour, and they wanted me to talk about it. So I'm going to talk about it because eh, now is as good a time as any. Uh, for those that aren't up to date, um, there's an old picture of a uh, host, or however you, you pronounce his, uh, his name, but, um, you know, the, the main guy behind the band. Uh, uh, there's a photo of him on stage from 2007 with a swastika painted on his chest uh, performing in Germany. And... As a side fact, uh, displaying the swastika in Germany is actually illegal. <laughs> they outlawed it a long time ago. So, given that, um, a lovely group, no, I'm kidding, uh, a fucking retarded group called Antifa, um, they are like an anti-fascist, I, I don't know, club? Fucking... I don't know, uh, cowboy group. For, I, I don't know. There, there are people that are that are annoying. They're like, <laughs> they're protesters or something like that. Um, they're anti-fascist protesters, and they, for some reason, took an interest in in this black metal band. I, I don't know why. Maybe there's some black metal listeners in Antifa. I I doubt it. I really doubt the the genre. And, and lyrical themes of black metal would would suit any of the tastes of uh, of the people in that organization. But somehow, Tolke got their attention, and they looked up this photo from 2007, and then went ape shit. Uh, they called up a bunch of the venues that were supposed to have Tolke, and they they told them to cancel, to not have the band there. Uh, whatever, whatever, and j just so you know, Antifa does have a reputation for um, inciting violence. Um, I think there was some violent protest involved when Graveland was supposed to perform in Montreal, in Canada, and of course, uh, I don't think that show happened either. But they're they're known to, you know, break stuff or smoke out McDonald's buildings or do a bunch of <laughs> vandalism mischief uh that kind of that kind of protester shit kind of reminds me of the uh the black block in the um wh wh what's it called the g the g10 the g20 uh it's been so long i forget what it is um yeah, so Tolkien canceled his shows. Uh, they put out some statements saying that they're they're not they're not neo Nazis and they don't support it and they're not racist, whatever. Uh, I read some articles on on like metal injection and, and metal sucks. I, again, don't go to these sites for information. Uh, the people who run these well, the people the people who run metal sucks uh, are, are kind of what's the word? Uh, incompetent so they have their own agenda they have their own opinions uh, don't don't go there for anything objective I mean well don't go to me for anything objective either but at least my, my <laughs> I would like to think my opinion makes more sense than theirs uh, and they went on about how Tolka uses uh, anti-islamic image uh, not imagery uh, lyrics 
and uh, and uh, very hateful lyrics and I mean, well, it, no shit. It's it's black metal. It's it's a genre that was founded upon intolerance, uh, hate, um, the 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 focus on the on the darker uh, emotions and and the darker side of humanity that that people weren't so uh upfront about showing in in art in, in other uh, in other culture so yeah no shit there's a lot of anti-religious bands there's a lot of anti-muslim anti-christian anti-jewish bands um of course they wouldn't be the first band to use imagery like a swastika to to, to piss off uh you know people who don't listen to the to black metal and, and to even piss off the crowd they're they're playing for that's been done before too and honestly uh if you're listening to black metal that's and you're complaining about something like that uh you're you're into the wrong genre uh black metal is not a place for for social justice bullshit for you know that that kind of weak weak sp- spirited uh spineless kind of thinking crap uh, at least uh if you ask me uh if you ask me um people have no really no no business to to complain that oh the, this band has hateful lyrics or this band is uh you know they're intolerant this band is even racist they don't like race certain racial groups uh, fuck off man uh no shit that's that's part of what black metal is um again at, at, at least to me um the the focus is on is on these dark uh these dark aspects of of being uh being human and going through through the whole human experience and j- just uh, as an outlet for people who um have really fucked up points of view really fucked up uh ways of thinking or, or life experiences and and this is a way to to put it into a medium that is enjoyable in a in an artistic form uh without trying to sound like one of these fucking people that you run into at a at a modern art museum uh but but really it's 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 a it's a genre of music um but again about antifa man the way they act is just so so uh contradictive to what they're against they're against fascism but they have no problems uh employing fascist tactics to further their agenda so they're they're really no better and i would argue they've they've done worse shit than neo-nazis have done in the past like decade i mean really what I mean, unless unless somebody can pull up some really really brutal, really specific event that happened in an, in an obscure part of the world that hasn't hit the mainstream media, but but mainstream media wise, um, what the fuck has really happened on the on the neo Nazi front or on the on the white supremacist white supremacist front uh, that has been as bad or worse than the way Antifa has been behaving? Uh, I, I don't think anything has topped their bullshit as of yet and uh <clears throat> other social movement groups that i will not mention because they also tend to get very very upset under the slightest shred of criticism so anyways uh, i don't know why bands and uh and even uh, venue holders take threats from these kinds of imbeciles uh, it, it doesn't make any sense to me. If, if the world would stop being so fucking sensitive to people with uh, retarded feelings, uh, about really oversensitive feelings about everything, uh, pe- people would not only just be able to get through the day a lot easier and a lot smoother, but there would be a lot less like stupid nonsense going on. And honestly, bands shouldn't put up with this. Uh, venue... Uh, venue owners shouldn't put up with this tour managers shouldn't put up with this they should be like fuck you we're not taking your threats we're, we don't care about your opinion if you don't like it don't fucking go to the show go cry about it at home uh, but but don't ruin things for, for everybody else because that's going to come bite you in the ass one day 
it, it, it really is. Um, you're gonna piss off the wrong group of people, and you're gonna piss or, or you're gonna piss off enough people where people are gonna start ruining shit for you. People are gonna start fucking up your protests, and they're gonna start coming there with tear gas or, or, or something. You know what? You're gonna piss off people, and you you want a war? You're gonna start one. You know. And that, that's just what I have to say. Uh, I was going to play a song off of Tolkien's uh, newest album uh, in their honor, but again, with them being on a bigger label, I'm not going to just because it's not worth the gamble. Uh, again, people are touchy about their music being out there. I, I don't know if they're one of these bands or not, but uh, I'm, I'm not going to bother. But again... Support goes out to to Tolke. Uh, you know, do what you want on stage. Perform how you want. Wear what you want. Wear whatever stupid T-shirts you want. Go fucking carve whatever you want onto your forehead. I don't give a fuck. No one else should give a fuck. If you like the music, listen to it. If you don't, piss off. End of story. Moving on to more positive things. I got a request, or at least uh, a suggestion, to to play a band called uh, Mournful Winter. Uh, when I put my Reddit ad up, now let me tell you. Um, okay, Mournful Winter. They are from Germany. They have a demo out. And then they have what looks like a full album uh, released the, the last December, 2017. And then the demo well, was released back in 2014. So I'm going to play a song off the 2014 demo called Ancient Forest. Let me load that up. All right. Have a drink of water. I hope everyone's enjoying the show so far. Again, feedback is welcome. Send me emails, YouTube comments, whatever. Uh, all right, here we go. Mournful winter.
Well, I think that one played a little quiet. So, sorry if my voice just scared the shit out of you. We're officially um, an hour and three minutes into our show. Now, typically, I would run maybe between an hour and an hour and a half at most. Um, today, because it's the first show, I think I'm going to go for the full uh, hour and a half, just because I feel like I've been talking a lot, and I've only maybe played uh, played a f you know five, five or six songs. So, uh, what else do I got? Uh, this is a band I discovered last year. Um, it's called Clandestine Blaze. Clandestine Blaze. Uh, this album is called Fist of the Northern Destroyer. It's recorded in 2002. I have the 2016 uh, reprint. But it's just as good. And th this is a band that I hadn't really run into uh, very much uh, before. I maybe, maybe have seen the logo uh, with the, I think so, the, with the guy setting the, the cross on fire or, or whatever's going on in the, in the picture. Um, but yeah, I hadn't actually really run into the band until last year. But they've been around a long, long time. A really long time. And it's a one-man project, from what I remember. Um, yeah. Let's see. I'm going to play the first track, which I think, I guess it's the title track. Fist of the Northern Destroyer. I'm gonna play that. And before I do, I gotta stop playing with shit on my desk. I'm sure you can hear every stupid little noise I'm making with with this pen <laughs> and with <laughs> all this other stuff on my desk. Yeah, before we go on, um, again, just to kind of create an interest for future future broadcasts or episodes, whatever you want to call them. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be doing uh, a lot more than just kind of discussing events or, or whatever, whatever's going on in the scene. Um, of course, if there's, if there's bands that come up that have an interesting backstory, I might, I might spend a day and kind of talk about it or, or delve into it, do some, do some like live research on the spot and kind of talk about that. Uh, there'll be days where I, uh, like I said, I'll actually play some instruments live. Um, I'll talk about different kinds of instruments. I'll talk about um, a lot of a lot of informative stuff in terms of uh, audio production or audio quality, and 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 again, make it kind of relevant to to black metal and and gather some some public. Uh, opinion rel uh, relevant to the genre regarding you know how much how much certain things matter in terms of uh in terms of music uh production and and what steps uh modern bands typically would go through uh with recording and and mixing and mastering and that, and that kind of shit and you know how much things have kind of changed since the uh genesis of of black metal where, uh, contrary to what people think, uh, bands were actually trying to go with a decent sounding production back then. It's just they couldn't afford uh, that great of a, of a studio or, or equipment or, or stuff like that. And it, it wasn't until later on, uh, a few years after, where people started... Uh, recording their music like shit on purpose so th that'll be a topic for another day but just to let you know uh the kind of stuff i have planned um i'll be talking about like i said like actual hardware analog hardware digital hardware um some of the software that i use 
for for my personal recordings and I mean you know why not share some information anyways uh, I'll play yeah Fist of the Northern Destroyer by Clandestine Blaze hope you enjoy that shit Yeah. 
realize how thirsty you get talking until you've been talking for like a good hour but hope you guys enjoyed that uh, I see that I have a steady flow of listeners so thank you for those that are sticking through the whole show I appreciate it uh, I, I also noticed that there's a ton of connections being opened and closed and if anyone was is experiencing like stream cutting or having to restart the refresh the page or to restart the uh, the stream, uh, yeah, uh, let me know about that that kind of shit, and um, I'll, I'll definitely I'll take care of it. Again, today's just uh, it's a, it's a test run. Uh, maybe my setup is is sufficient. Maybe maybe it's not, and. Uh, I won't know unless someone unless someone tells me. Um, all right, let me get my CD out of here. So yeah, um, in case you don't know, I take suggestions for bands or songs to play on the show. Um, if you think you've heard of something that I'd be into that kind of fits fits the uh, the, the general style of, of the stuff I play on the show. Then by all means, send it over. Um, I'll tell you what I what I don't like just just in advance. Um, I don't like Norse core. I don't like like blast beats for you know ninety percent of the time. Um, and I don't like mindless shredding with the blast beats. I, I don't like that kind of shit. I mean, I, I know some people do, and yeah, I mean, great, but uh, I, I I get bored by that kind of shit really fast, and I honestly have a hard time listening to it too. Uh, that's why I, I try to play stuff that has a lot of either a melody or a, a lot of rhythm to it because that that's again that's kind of in tune with the with the origin of the genre um things kind of started out on a on a kind of a punky kind of feel and then you know a few waves down the line uh bands just kind of play play stuff that's a little stale so that's why i, I like the old school shit um without of course overplaying the old school shit that everyone's already heard so you know, Dark Throne, Mayhem, uh, Burtzum, all that stuff. As much as I love it, I will play very, very, very little of it on the show. Um, unless I find, like, obscure demos from those bands, then I, I might play that stuff. Moving on. Uh, let's see. So, there is a band called... Uh, Rivaus. Uh, they're Swedish, and I think this. Uh, I I can't. I cannot fucking pronounce the title of this record. Let me just see. Um, it's a thirty-minute full length, thirty-four-minute full length. It's in. Okay, so my, my, my bad. They're from Finland. So it's in Finnish, and I can't pronounce it, but it's fucking awesome. And this came out in 2017, and I really have to get the CD for this, uh, for this album. I'll play them in a second. Um, 
let's see. So, just to uh, just to keep the interest going, um, I've decided to do uh, maybe not not on a regular basis, but a segment or or a show every now and then where uh, I'm going to buy like a bulk of demo cassettes off of uh, either Discogs or, or wherever I can find them for for a price that's not 40 fucking dollars for a cassette so eBay's out of the question uh, wherever I can find uh, a decent bulk of uh, black metal demos or, or just cassette EPs or ev even albums whatever uh, from bands that no one's ever heard of uh, I'm gonna buy a bunch of that shit and I'm not going to listen to it. I'm actually going to play it on the show and <laughs> we can we can review the cassettes together. We can uh yeah, listen to that shit and make some commentary, do some do some reviewing. Uh, I thought that'd be pretty interesting. Uh right now the only cassette I have on hand is uh, Venom's uh Black Metal. <laughs> I'm sure everybody's heard of that, so I'm not going to play it. Uh, I do have a couple cassettes coming in. I'm waiting on those. So, I'm going to play uh, the first track off the uh, Rivaus album. Some... Whatever name, whatever name it is. And then... I'm going to go right into playing the first song off of... Uh, Kampfar's uh, Kvass album from 2006 now again look up their origin Kampfar is Norwegian yeah they formed in Norway in 1994 apparently apparently a lot of bands uh, cite their first release as being in the uh, in the mid or even the early 90s and according to Varg, that is a load of shit for most bands. Uh, most bands hadn't released anything until the late 90s, but according to him, uh, a lot of bands today are putting their first release as being 1994, 93, 92, 91, uh, just to have that kind of... Uh, founding father status so that, that that's interesting now uh, whenever I see a, an early 90s release date I'm always really skeptical and I guess there's really no fucking way of knowing unless unless you're in the band and you and, and you know whether you lied or not <laughs> I don't think they'll they'll tell you if you ask but anyways uh, Kvass is probably my favorite uh, Kampfar album I've known this band for just a couple years um, so yeah I'll play uh, I'll play those two enjoy
Hmm. I'm eating these. Like sweet potato chips. They got other vegetables in here. Like parsnip. Mm. So, uh, I think I'm going to wrap up the show for tonight. Again, thank you for all the support. Thank you for everyone that's uh, listening, uh, that stuck through the whole show, or even just uh, tuned in to check it out. Uh, I'll probably, I mean, I'll, I'll see how well I did on the on equalizing my uh, my volumes today. And if I don't have to make any uh, volume changes on, on any of the songs, then I'll probably have this uploaded tonight. If I have to do any edits, then I'll just I'll just do that tomorrow because I don't feel like it. So, last song is uh, the first song off of the uh, Kvass album by Kampfar, and hmm. fuck that salty. Well. Hope everybody has a good night. Hope you enjoyed the show. And if you did, then do me a favor and uh, help the YouTube videos get some likes. Uh, show your show your buddies. Uh, show your parents. Show your uh, your cousin. Whatever. And yeah, have yourself a good night. Peace.